What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Hulu's new movie, Books of Blood. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Hulu for granting me the screener to this new film. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this video review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Damn, Books of Blood is terrifying and it's very well written. All three tales are connected in the most cleverly wicked way, featuring performances that are top notch. And what I appreciate the most is that the scares are purpose-based. They are not cheap nor pointless. And it's a story in which everybody gets what's coming to them, either by choice or by justifiable punishments. This is an excellent horror movie. No ifs or buts about it. Based on Clive Barker's acclaimed horror anthology novel, Books of Blood takes audiences on a journey into uncharted, and forbidden territory through three uncanny tales tangled in space and time. Starring Britt Robertson, Rafi Gavron, Anna Friel, Yul Vasquez, and Freda Fauchin. Directed by Brandon Braga. Okay, let me elaborate a bit further on the plot without giving away too many details because this movie does have a lot of surprises and I want you to experience them for yourselves. But in a nutshell, Britt Robertson plays a teenager with parents' issues and she makes a life-changing decision that may have lethal consequences. As for the other two interwoven storylines, one has to do with criminals who are in way over their heads, and the other is, well, let's just describe it as lover's quarrel. There, that's all I can say. Anything more than it might go into spoiler territory, and trust me, it's best that I don't share them here. As I implied earlier, there is a solid reason behind each scare, which is very well placed, and it's all part of a bigger picture complete with effective frightening elements. And it's such a satisfying movie overall because it doesn't leave any loose ends. The supporting characters are hella creepy. They have their own malicious agenda. Just when you thought that they could at least be decent, BAM! Something happens that suddenly flips that opinion on its head. The one about the criminals is more action-packed, whereas the other two are character-driven, but the suspense never lets up. Books of Blood is a supernatural-slash-psychological thriller that has a little bit of that Tarantino-esque non-linear progression, and I think horror fans everywhere will appreciate its chilling conclusion. 